Hey y'all, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so you don't miss a thing. Also, come follow us on social media at Disney Food Blog. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and today we are going to talk about a new hard ticket event in Walt Disney World, Early Morning Magic over at Toy Story Land in Disney's Hollywood Studios. Early Morning Magic is a hard ticket event at several parks. They have it over at the Magic Kingdom as well, and it basically gets you into the park a few hours early um, so that you have access to a bunch of rides and you also get breakfast included so that you can enjoy the rides and not have quite as many crowds as you would if you enter when the park actually opens. So Early Morning Magic in Hollywood Studios Toy Story Land right now runs from 7.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. and the park opens to the general public at 9 a.m. So you get an hour and a half of extra time in Toy Story Land without everybody else who has a regular park ticket. The cost for this event is $79 per adult, $69 for children three to nine. That doesn't include tax. You've got a little extra tax on the top of that. So here's what happens. You go to the park there at 7.30 in the morning and it's recommended you get there a little bit earlier than that, of course, which means you've got some weird transportation choices. You can, of course, take a taxi or a minivan. Buses will probably be running, but they may not be. And the friendship boats tend to start around 8.30 a.m. So that's not gonna work if you're trying to get to Hollywood Studios. So prepare in advance how you're going to get over there. Most people will probably go ahead and drive their own personal vehicle, take a taxi, take a ride sharing service or a minivan minivan to get over there that early. But always check with your hotel and see when transportation is running if you want to take Disney transportation. So once you actually get in to Hollywood Studios, you'll get an event wristband like you usually do for a hard ticket event. And your early morning magic ticket includes time in Toy Story Land and breakfast at the ABC Commissary. So this is our first recommendation. Don't go to breakfast first. Why? Because you only get limited time in Toy Story Land that the general public isn't in there with you. So head over to Toy Story Land first, ride all those rides, do all those activities first, and then head over to breakfast after 9 a.m. after the party officially opens because you still get access to the breakfast at ABC Commissary until 10 o'clock a.m. So take advantage of the nobody is in Toy Story land from 7.30 to 9 and then head over for breakfast. Hope that makes sense. In our experience over at Early Morning Magic, it was very, very empty. There really weren't a lot of people in there. The wait times posted on the rides were five minutes and 10 minutes. Uh, we were able to choose our row in Slinky Dog Dash because there was literally nobody there. And so we could choose wherever we wanted to sit. FYI, we always choose the back because if you don't sit in the back at Slinky Dog Dash, you basically get a giant dog head in front of you. <laughs> it's hard to see anything. During Early Morning Magic, Buzz, Woody, and Jesse were available for photos and autographs, which is really, really great because then you don't have to wait in long lines later on in Toy Story Land to get their autographs. But basically we were able to ride everything we wanted to ride multiple times and then head on over for our food. Now Woody's lunchbox is not open during early morning magic. You do have to go to ABC Commissary which is a little bit of a track from Toy Story Land. But we were actually really really impressed with the food that was available. So this isn't just your typical standard counter service food. With your early morning magic ticket you get an entree and a continental breakfast buffet, which is awesome. The entrees for breakfast over there at ABC Commissary were a breakfast charcuterie platter with smoked salmon, chopped hard boiled egg, whipped cream cheese, pickled red onions, capers, sausage, salami, ham, and seasonal greens, smashed avocado toast and egg plates, the Mexican corn chilaquiles and eggs bowl with fresh corn black beans, caramelized onions, poblano peppers, chorizo, rancho sauce, house fried tortillas, pico de gallo, avocado, queso fresco, scrambled egg, the shrimp and southern grits bowl with creamy cheddar cheese, white corn grits, sauteed shrimp, bell peppers, onions and andouille sausage, and then the fried chicken and cinnamon sugar French donut bowl, which is crispy chicken tenderloins, which is basically chicken fingers, with sweet potato barrels, which are sweet potato tots, and then cinnamon sugar French donuts with a maple glaze. So we were really impressed with a lot of these breakfast items. I mean, some of this is better than you're gonna get at some table service breakfast locations, right? So of course we went for the fried chicken and cinnamon sugar French donut bowl, which was incredible. We absolutely loved it. I don't know what there isn't to love in that, but it was excellent. You know, you guys know I love Disney chicken tenders or Disney chicken nuggets. The donuts were really good. And we thought the maple glaze there was awesome too. So you also get the continental breakfast buffet, and this is baked goods, fresh 
fruit yogurt parfaits. Lots of options actually, not just, you know, a couple of muffins. You've got pound of chocolate, cinnamon rolls, fruit danish, different types of croissants, and of course all of that fruit and that yogurt. So there's lots of opportunities here to expand your breakfast options as well. So there's a lot of food here for breakfast. They also have plenty of cereal options. So if you've got kiddos in your party that aren't interested in chilaquiles or, <laughs> or chicken fingers and sweet potato tots, they can always have Fruit Loops or granola, Frosted Flakes, typical Kellogg's cereals there. And then there are also breakfast drinks, coffee, tea, orange juice, apple juice, and water. And they even had citrus mint infused water, so you can be all fancy as well. So, was it worth it? Well, just like dessert parties, it's kind of up to you. If you've got a busy vacation, a busy trip, and you're only there for a few days and you wanna see everything, you guys know Toy Story Land is the newest game in town. It is very hard to get a fast pass for those rides, and if you try to go and walk up, you're going to be in long, long lines. So, if your goal is to get on all the rides in Toy Story Land and get on them quickly so that you don't have to spend a huge amount of time waiting in this particular area of the park, then yeah, it's probably worth it. It's a pretty good deal. You get a lot of time in that park and there's only three rides. You don't need more than an hour and a half and you can probably ride them as many times as you want. And then the breakfast itself is excellent as well, which is surprising because it's ABC Commissary, which, you know, isn't that great a restaurant, but they've done an excellent job with the breakfast here too. Lots of stuff we would easily see on a table service menu for breakfast. And then like the Continental Breakfast Buffet wasn't just phoning it in either. It was significant and substantial. There's lots of food options available for you. So probably Probably it is worth it, but you've got to also think the same way that we do with dessert parties. If you have a family of five, you're going to be spending, you know, 365 bucks for an hour and a half of short lines and the counter service breakfast. So $365 is going to get you another night in a Disney hotel. It's going to get you another day of a park ticket for maybe one or two of you. Um, so, and you know, you could, I don't know, you could use that for something else. Like you're like, I don't know your mortgage or whatever. So you really have to think about it. Does it make sense um, to spend that much money to get quick access to those rides? Because yeah, if you want to ride Toy Story Land later in your vacation, you're kind of going to go even at opening time, it's going to be hard to get on those rides. So again, you just have to see if it works for your family, if that priority structure makes sense for your trip. We thought it was great. We had a great time. But again, it really does depend on what's going to be right for your family. If your family could benefit from an extra day, an extra night in the hotel, and an extra day just sort of swimming in the pool, then maybe that's best for you guys. So let us know, have you guys experienced early morning magic either in the Magic Kingdom or in Hollywood Studios? We'd love to hear what you have to say. Let us know in the comments. Do you think it's worth the money? Is it worth 75 bucks or sorry, 79 bucks for an adult for a couple of hours at Toy Story Land and that breakfast? Again, like I said, it is only three rides. So is three rides worth it? I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.